These rice grain pieces are very popular with collectors because each of the rice shaped designs is translucent and lets the light through. Let's use Google Lens to take a look and see how much they might be worth. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's six o'clock on a Friday night and Jake and I are here at our favourite Goodwill on Rainbow and Cheyenne. We can tell fall is coming, it's getting a bit dark much earlier, so we are going to get in and see what we can find. Hi Jake. Yeah. What are we going to do? Let's, Let's go, go thrifting. thrifting! This week I received an email from a viewer who said she really, really enjoys my videos, watches them whenever she can, but she can't afford to subscribe to my channel. Subscribing doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free. It just means that my videos come up in your recommended videos to watch. And also, if you click the little bell notification button next to the subscribe button, uh, YouTube will notify you anytime I release a new video. Without further ado, let's go in and see what we can find. The color of the week is green. All green tags are 50% off. Let's grab a cart and we will head back to the hard goods section. Many of you have asked me to include the date of release in my videos. So beginning today, you'll find the date in the Thrifting Vegas logo screen after the preview at the beginning of every video. Also, from time to time, do go into YouTube and make sure you are subscribed to your favorite channels. My husband told me this morning that uh, he hadn't been getting my notifications. We went in and discovered that he had been unsubscribed from Thrifting Vegas. <laughs> The Boss Reseller Remix is less than three weeks away, so do make sure you have your tickets. More details at the end of this video. Lastly, if you are interested in purchasing something you see me thrift in my video, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Again, more details about this in the haul at the end of the video. Here we are in the hard goods section and this little iridescent vase has caught my eye. It's very lightweight though, a modern piece. So we'll leave that on the shelf and make our way over to the first aisle where we have figurines and collectibles. On this shelf, there's a couple of baggies of glass candlesticks. Here's an ashtray, naval air, technical, training center oh there's a bit of a rough spot there so we'll leave that as well back here are a couple of dishes that go to a lazy susan set what else here is some restaurant ware. if i can find somewhere to pop this candle down let's see I think those are Sterling brand. Sadly, these don't sell as well as they used to, so I'm going to leave those as well. Some tissue box holders, signs and figurines, some photo frames, and a shell. Oops, oh, that was close. <laughs> what else can we find? All sorts of dolls and some Easter bits there. Here's a rooster canister, and this is a project piece, I believe, a pottery bowl. It's got a piece of glass from a picture frame in it. Very crude, marked Joe on the bottom. That is not for me, so we'll leave it. Let's look at the bottom of this rooster. This is, again, a modern piece. This picture I look at every time. I believe it's an orange tag. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it reminds me of the Viking style bowls I have with the drip legs. I really like those. So maybe next time, if it's still here, I will go ahead and pick it up. This poor little bird has a broken beak. It's three dollars. Oh, look at this glass piece. Lovely swirl. It's nice quality. It has a metal handle. I wonder what it is. Oh, it has a hole in the bottom. Does a light go up in there? I'm not sure what you would use that for. Very nice though, as a decorative piece, isn't it? You could even put some uh, wax beads in there or some insect incense sticks. I think we'll grab that. Let's just finish this shelf up. And I need to put my Thrifting Vegas blanket into the cart. With our Thrifting Vegas blanket in place, we can put this lovely piece into the cart and keep going on the shelves to see what else we can find. Oh, a couple of you have asked about this tissue box holder. It's $10, but red tag, which means it only goes on sale one Saturday a month. This is a nice vase. I love the relief of the fish. It's $6. What else can we find? Some vintage glass shades here, candles and decor. This is interesting, but it does have a chip. More candles, some artisan pottery pieces. Those are a bit crude, so we'll leave them. I do have quite a bit of pottery in my vintage booth. Some ceiling shades. Here's a little magnetic duck uh, ornament there. He's a bit manky. We'll leave him. Shelves and clocks and jars. Some decorations and collector plates. Moving into Christmas here. Another vase, wreaths and bakers. Ooh, these two, I think they hook onto uh, a ladder, an advent can calendar ladder. That's fun. I like the flowers on this picture frame. Unfortunately, picture frames just don't sell so well for me. So we'll leave that. We got ribbons, Christmas plates, more candle holders. Here's a terracotta figure, quite lightweight that, not ever such good quality. This is nice. Lovely drip glaze mug. Oh, this is from Renaissance Fair. That's Elizabeth I. Look at her fancy dress there. She is amazing. We'll definitely pop her into the cart. Renaissance Fair items are very expensive at the fair and they do have quite a good collector following. So those pieces are something I always will grab as long as they're in good condition. There's a candle there, little cat and pumpkin. Dented, he's melty. Oh, he is nice. This is a drip glaze bunny. He's nicely done. I think he is a project piece but he has no damage, so we will grab him, pop him into the cart. I love the colors on him. Okay, what else can we find up here? There's some glasses and bowls, little lion plaque. Lots of similar Christmas plates here. I tend to see these a lot. Let's see who makes them. The brand is Linz. When you see something a lot at thrift stores, it's best to steer clear because it means they're readily available. This is a Better Homes and Gardens piece. One of a set of six, I think. Uh, on its own, just not worth picking up, so we'll leave it. Some snowflake plates there. More polka dot and bow plates that always sell well for me. Actually, I think I will grab those with the season coming up. 
Uh, there are bound to be more requests for these. They uh, actually go with mugs that have a similar design. Lovely, lovely, festive uh, pieces. What else have we got down here? More candles and platters. Lots and lots to see. We've got pebbles and candle holders, ornaments and pine cones. Lots of decorative bits. Here is a duck. Reminds me of the green um, duck we found last time, except this fellow is a modern piece made in China. Not ever such good quality. Glass and decorative pieces. We are checking the boxes as usual. Not really sure what that is. Maybe a planter. Tins and bottles. Tissue box holders are very plentiful today. <laughs> This is lovely. Oh, look at that. It's Otagiri. Beautiful floral design, little heart wreath. It has its original price tag on there. So let's pop that into the cart. We will lift up some things to see if there might be any more similar. I have a feeling this might have been part of a set of trinket trays. Lots of Christmas mugs. No polka dot and bow ones though. Here we are in the baskets and frames, plaques and signs, having a look. Here's a nice frame. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at the vintage illustration on that. It, oh, it's actually one of those stash books to hide your valuables in your bookshelf. I love that. The moon with the witch on a broomstick will definitely get that for $3. It would be perfect in a Halloween display. Lots of canvases and baskets. What's this? I don't have pet peeves. I have whole kennels of irritation. That's fantastic. Oh, that is really good. <laughs> More frames and baskets and racks here. Oh, down here is a massive monkey pod divided dish. That is gorgeous. Perfect for a fall table. It's only $4.00. This could really use a good soak in uh, mineral oil, which I could do and show you in a segment at the end of this video. Let's definitely plan on that. It is worn and dried out, but I think it would come up beautifully uh, with that uh, oil. Moving into the vases, planters and florals, a couple more of those iridescent pieces there. Two lovely glasses. Look at these. Let's see. One more iridescent piece. I see fish back here. What is this amazingness? If you were to put water with a couple of drops of blue food coloring in there, it would look like the ocean. And if you do that with a carnation or a rose, the flower actually sucks up the blue dye and becomes blue. It had a vintage tag on, so we'll definitely grab that. Back here is a hurricane shade. I have a cobalt uh, uh, lamp, hurricane lamp, that's been converted to electric, but it's missing its shade. I think this just might fit it. So we will keep our fingers crossed and give that a go as well. It's only $2, so no harm done if it doesn't fit. I saw a couple more pieces that are interesting. This is the first one. It's a dome. I'm not convinced that that plate actually goes with it. So we'll leave that. Lots and lots of clear glass. 
and florist vases oh this is vintage look at the colors on this this is vintage japan it's very crazed absolutely stunning color only 99 cents let's definitely grab that does have some crazing and cracking but that just adds to its amazing character carefully in the cart it goes and over here hiding is a lovely heavy beautiful brass piece look at the bottom of that it's all scratched up from age definitely vintage super heavy and substantial just beautiful lines on that i absolutely love it what a fantastic piece that will go in there as well anything else for us let's see it's a pretty red very lightweight though a modern piece I am a big fan of this brand, Midwest of Cannon Falls. I have an entire Winnie the Pooh ornament set, only $3, a beautiful cherry trivet or wall hanging. It does have uh, a bit of dirt, maybe scrape on the edge there, on the border, but I think with a magic eraser that would come perfectly clean and it wouldn't be noticeable. The cherries and the red with the border there are absolutely gorgeous. I love this piece. So that will definitely go into the cart. And down here is a rarer piece of Ray Dunn. It's a Let It Snow tray. Look at this. I hope it is in good shape. No damage. There's the mark. Ray Dunn Artisan Collection by Magenta. Look at the trees. It's in lovely shape. The gold edging is intact. That will go into the cart as well. A really pretty bowl with floral design back here. Do love the colors on that. Oh, look at this ruffle dish. Is that a saucer? Might be too small to be a saucer. I think it's just a trinket dish. But the ruffles and the flowers on that are fantastic back here looks like a piece of mm, is it lefton look at the roses it is lefton for five dollars but unfortunately it has a massive chunk out of the edge that is such a shame it looks like a brand new chip too we'll leave that and keep going more modern trinket dish oh look at this vase ivy pattern i love the bright vibrant green of that made in japan there is another piece i want to grab so first we will get these two into our cart see so many things to look at i'm distracted again this is temptations that salad bowl and dish set five dollars a piece on those uh, just won't work for me for resale lovely little english saucer here Kensington that is we'll have to have a look for the cup this is Boleslawik Polish pottery always a great find always sells really quickly for me only two dollars on a lovely dessert bowl there we'll get that into the cart let's see what was the other thing I was wanting to look at These rice grain pieces are very popular with collectors because each of the rice shaped designs is translucent and lets the light through. Let's use Google Lens to take a look and see how much they might be worth. In a Google browser to the right on the search bar is a camera icon. Push the icon 
and take a picture of the item. We'll line it up carefully and Google will search its database to come up with the best matches it can find. This one here for $19, very similar set of three for 60. I know that many of my viewers love this rice pattern, so we'll definitely grab that. Here is a fun piece on this plate. Uh, you put the food, it's for kids, you put the food on the head there and it entices your picky eater to eat. I think it's Fred Food Face. That must be Mrs. Fred. <laughs> what else do we have here? Oh, look at this pretty chintz pattern. This looks like an old English piece. Rose Bouquet by Johnson Brothers. $2. Let's pop this in the cart and see if we can find the matching cup uh, in the, the uh, shelf across here. This is your, just caught my eye. It looks like Dutch wax, but it appears to be um, a replica. Very lightweight, that. So we'll leave it. Let's just have a quick look at this too. This looks like Viking glass. Beautiful, uh, deep ruby red color. That would actually be lovely um, for flowers or a little bouquet. Definitely vintage. Let's grab that. Down here, we have some tumblers in the mid-century modern style of Dorothy Thorpe. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to say that these are reproduction because I don't think the silver band is thick enough to be Dorothy Thorpe. We are here in the mug section having a look, hoping to find uh, a matching cup for our little blue and white chintz saucer. Oh, there it is, but the handle is missing. Oh, that is so tragic, 99 cents. I'm just gonna pop it on here to show you what it would have looked like. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Look at the beautiful blue flowers. I am going to leave it here in case someone can do something incredibly artsy with that. Let's keep going on this shelf. Ooh. Does anybody remember when I found a couple of episodes ago, one of these, such a lovely design. And there are two now, a little bit different. I'm so gra glad I grabbed the single one when I did. Now we have a set of three. Going to say they're all a little bit different here. It would be wonderful if we could find a fourth. Those are those Dutch wax mugs. Uh, definitely copies those. Mm. It's not a fourth Southwestern mug, but definitely worth a look. I believe this is from Aladdin, is it? This mug is Disney in great shape, $3. We will grab that. In the cart it goes. Let's see. Anything else for us here? It's a Christmas mug, very lightweight, easily chipped. We'll leave it. Let's see. Southwestern mug, Southwestern mug. You never know, it might show up in a future visit. Look at this kistletoe. It's mistletoe with a lovely crystal beneath, a ribbon for hanging, $5. These are absolutely gorgeous. Your everlasting mistletoe will definitely pop this into the cart and have a look on the off chance there might be another. Lots and lots of dolls. Oh, look at this fantastic wall decor. It is a mask of a lady with a headdress. She is leather. Absolutely stunning that. We'll take her as well. Some pots down there, more dolls and plaques. Plates there, we'll come back to those in a second. 
We've seen that bird plaque before. It has some damage. Plants and candles. We will pop our lady carefully on top there and have a look at these plates. This one is Lennox, a Christmas edition there. Ooh, these are gorgeous. Definitely vintage. Vintage Bavaria, $2 a piece. It looks like there are three of them. Beautiful violets around the edge with gold. We've got something else sandwiched in the middle. Oh, this looks like it might have either a manufacturer's floor or some sort of boo-boo there. I'm not sure, but we will take all three of those. Just love that design. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I found a Disney skeleton dance crossbody in the Halloween section. So I'm making a point to check the purses. This looks a bit like a Le Sport sack piece, which is a great brand, but the quality just isn't there and I don't see their name tag. So let's move on from that. The hooks are a bit empty today hopefully that means they will be restocking soon i think that stripey one is a insulated tote rachel ray maybe I'm not seeing anything here here we are in the Halloween boutique, as they call it. Lots of new items, as we saw before. Skeleton wreaths and pumpkins and witches. All sorts of new gnomes there. Eyeball eyes. Jake has found a mask. It looks like, I don't think it's the Joker. It might be just the colors. <laughs> Buckets and tombstones. It's a trick or treat fence there. Let's see. Tombstones. One can never have too many tombstones, can one? Maybe we'll grab that, Jake. Pumpkins and wreaths. Some scarecrow figures and luminaries. Up top, we've got more baskets and bowls, cookie jars, and all sorts of decorative bits. This is a Squishmallow pumpkin. He is, see, six dollars. What else can we find? Around the other side, the selection goes on. All sorts of costumey bits around here. Here's a little tree. Very modern that, inexpensive, we'll leave it. Paper plates and plush. Lots of costume accessories, more tombstones here. Those are a bit worse for wear, I think. What do you think, Jake? Do you like the other one better? He likes the other one better. Shoes. And signs, zombie crossing, that's quite fun. Five dollars though. I think we'll pass on that for now. All sorts of accessories. I like these um, candy corn trees, they're fun. Three dollars, again a bit bent and worse for wear unfortunately. All kinds of fun stuff. Here on my table is everything we found at Goodwill, as well as a few extra items my viewers and subscribers asked me 
if I had in my inventory and I included. Let's start over here with our Ray Dunn Let It Snow piece. This is a gorgeous seasonal tray featuring a snowy sky with three lovely trees. It's snowing and at the bottom it says let it snow and if you can see the T's and the I's are made to look like little people there. It's really really fun. I'll show you the back. Ray Dunn Artisan Collection. I paid three dollars for it and I am going to ask $35. I also wanted to show you this more traditional Ray Dunn piece. This is, again, the Artisan Collection, a little um, office desk holder for clips and whatever you would like to put in there. Maybe candy would be fun. I paid $3 back in 2021 <laughs> so this has been hanging out a while in my inventory and I am going to ask $15. Let's move up here to this beautiful Christmas piece. This I like to call a toe. It is a mistletoe glittered with a crystal underneath. As you can see, it's a really good size, perfect for hanging in an archway or a doorway, or you could even pop it on your Christmas tree. I paid $5 for it, and I am going to ask $20. Next, we have this gorgeous ruffled little trinket dish. I don't know if you get the full effect of the ruffles but it is gorgeous looks to be hand painted lovely pinks and green and blue and gold we paid 99 cents for it and i am going to ask 18 dollars another trinket dish this one is similar yet very different this one is an otagiri piece uh, lovely sort of cottage core style wreath, uh, heart shaped wreath with roses and ribbons. There is the mark Otagiri, Japan. I paid a couple of dollars for it and I again am going to ask $18. This is our beautiful Boleslavic bowl handmade in Poland. I paid two dollars for it and I am going to ask fifteen dollars. The vintage illustration on this is fantastic. It is a little stash box nicely made. You can pop money or jewelry in there. Uh, hide it in your bookshelf, will blend right in with the other books. It has a moon and a beautiful witch on a broomstick with an owl and uh, jack-o'-lanterns. It says potions, perfect to add to your Halloween decor. I paid $3 for it and I am going to ask $25. Back here is our beautiful uh, war hanging, the mask of a lady uh, with her scarf around her face. She's absolutely stunning, as you can see. I'll give you a close up here. There is the back, just gorgeous. You could easily pop a nail in the wall and hang her right onto it. Just gorgeous. As you can tell, it's a very stiff piece, would display beautifully. I paid $6 for her and I am going to ask $35. Next is our stunning little Japanese planter. 
show you the bottom it says Japan on it vintage stamp a little flower the colors are incredible look at that it's very very crazed as you can see and it does have a surface crack just here but that for me anyway just adds to its character and its charm I paid a dollar for it and I am going to ask at $22. Next we have our Drip Glaze Bunny. I believe this fellow is a project piece marked 2008. Really nicely done. I love his colors. I paid $2 for him and uh, I am going to ask $15. Next is our vase. It has amazing images of fish on it. They're all different and green seaweed in the background. There is the bottom. Definitely a vintage piece. I paid $2 for it. I am going to ask $22. Another lovely vintage Japanese vase. This one has gorgeous, vibrant ivy stems on it. Look at the colors in that. Absolutely lovely. It has a Made in Japan sticker. I paid a dollar for it. I am going to ask $18. This is a gorgeous ruby uh, glass, a tumbler. It is in the style of Viking glass, possibly Viking. It would make a lovely little vase, just beautiful. I did test it with a black light. It does not glow, it's not amberina. I paid a dollar for it. I'm going to ask $12. These are our rice pattern little bowls here. I'm not sure if they are intended for sauces or wasabi or just for display. This one was actually sold in Italy. Conti Palermo, it says. And this one has a Chinese mark on the bottom. Now I'm going to show you what I mean by the rice grain lighting up. Here we go. See as it lets the light through there. That's You see the rice grain pattern. The other one does the same. Let me show you this one. You can see the pattern. We'll bring it up to the light. And you can see the little rice grains of translucency. <laughs> Just beautiful. Two stunning pieces. I paid $2 for the pair. And I am going to ask $20 a piece. This I believe is a vintage water pot. It's very, very heavy, solid brass. You can see the wear on the bottom there. It could be used as a vase or just on display. It's very plain, but for a ridge around the edge here. It is gorgeous. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $28. Another vase here. This one could also be used as a sun catcher hanging in the window. It is gorgeous colors, blues and oranges and yellows with green. It does have a hole in the bottom, so you could also thread some battery operated lights up into it. We paid $3 for it. I'm going to ask 
Ziggy is rummaging in the box of newspaper. You have to see this. The box of newspaper that I brought home, my treasures from the store in. He just launched himself into it. <laughs> and Bandit is wondering what he's doing here. What are you doing? <laughs> Where were we? Oh, this Renaissance Fair piece featuring Queen Elizabeth is stunning. Look at that. It's a gorgeous medallion on a pottery mug. It's marked on the bottom there with a drip glaze. Absolutely stunning. Whether or not you are a Renaissance Fair fan, gorgeous piece. I just noticed... How did I not notice? It has some damage there. I don't know if that is a flaw or what that is. Let's zoom in. It looks like part of the glaze is missing, unfortunately. So I'm not going to give a price on that. If you are interested in this plate piece, it could be easily filled and painted. Uh, do shoot me an offer on that. Back here we have our two Native American Indian mugs. And the one that matches that I found on a previous trip. These two are very similar. These mountains are pink. These are a little more purple, but the design is similar. This one, different, but the same artist. Two OT. There. I am going to ask $12 a piece on these. I misspoke in the video saying this uh, mug was from Aladdin. It is actually from Hercules. And uh, I paid $2.99 for it. I am going to ask $18. I couldn't resist this sign. It really tickled me funny. <laughs> so fun. I paid $3 on that. I am going to ask $10. Next are three beautiful vintage Bavarian plates featuring, I believe those are violets. It has a iridescent violet stripe in the middle with gold. They're just gorgeous. There is the Bavaria mark on the back. There are three of them. I am going to ask $12 a piece. Next our fantastic monkey pod serving dish. As I said in uh, the store. This would be fantastic for fall or Halloween with all different kinds of candies in it. You could use it for any holiday, snacks or candies. Absolutely gorgeous. But as we saw, it is a bit worse for wear. Look at that. The wood needs a good soak in mineral oil. And at the end of this video, after this haul, we are going to do that together. And I'm going to show you how beautifully mineral oil can restore a piece like this. Inside this is our hurricane shade that I found. Now, unfortunately, it does not fit the lamp I intended it for, which is this beauty here. This is blue glass, not quite cobalt, almost cobalt. But as you can see, it's not the right fit. It waggles all around and it won't tighten. And uh, it was worth a try though, because this is a gorgeous lamp. And you never know, I'll put this um, with my pieces waiting for a match. And uh, who knows? Over here, I have 
uh, two sets of pieces that were requested. Uh, I had requests for anything orange for fall, fall decor. We found uh, this lovely cat, a tabby cat with orange glasses. He's actually a bank, but I think he could be incorporated fantastically into fall or Halloween display. He is just super. Uh, I am going to ask 28 for him. Along the same lines, we have a owl here. He is fabulous with his polka dots and stripes. I am going to ask $14 on him. Two little pumpkin tea light holders here. They are metal with uh, plastic beads all around. They look beautiful with a couple of tea lights or votives in them lit up those are fourteen dollars a piece and i also had a request for blue serveware so i came up with this uh, fiesta wear set of a creamer and sugar let me show you the mark it's fiesta on the bottom now the the uh, creamer is a little bit lighter than the sugar but uh, all Fiesta wear is carefully made uh, in the USA and it is beautiful. No two pieces are ever quite exactly the same color. I'm going to ask $18 on the set. And last but not least here, we have two pieces of Talavera, this lovely cobalt and white serving bowl lead free for serving just a lovely lovely piece i'm going to ask 18 on this one and this absolutely stunning platter it's just gorgeous the colors are unbelievable just lovely let me show you the back again uh, made in Mexico, this one was $4. I am going to ask $35. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our shopping trip and the haul. If you're interested in purchasing anything you see, please send me an email. Include your name, your address, the item you're interested in and your offer. Do be aware that I get many, many uh, offers and requests to purchase. So if you really are in love with something, do feel free to offer a little more than the asking price. Stay tuned. We are together going to bring this lovely monkey pod bowl back to life with some mineral oil. And I have some footage of our pups, Bear and Rio, the cats and our hummingbirds. I'll see you next time. Bye. So as you can see, our monkey pod bowl is in rather rough shape here. If I zoom in... You can see how dry and thirsty the wood is here on the edges and all the way around. Some spots are worse than others, but we have a solution. I am going to use my favorite Howard's Butcher Block Conditioner it's uh, a mineral oil, it's food grade, so it's safe to use on serveware and pieces that you are going to uh, have food in, inside. It's very, very easy to use. What you're going to do is just liberally squirt some of the product onto your piece and I'm going to show you what happens if I just use my fingers. 
it's food grade so it's perfectly safe could actually eat it if I wanted to I don't really want to so I won't but as you can see this wood just sucks up the oil look at that as I touch it it just soaks it up let's get some on my finger and we'll flip it over here and see how the back looks oh this is a really good spot to do look at this as I rub it in the wood gets conditioned we need to take off that so I am going to remove the price tag and give this piece a good oiling with our butcher block conditioner and I will show you the finished result. Look at the difference in our beautiful monkey pod serveware. The wood is conditioned and glossy. It's no longer tired and dried out. I have just done one coat. Ideally, I want to give it another nice thick coat and leave it to soak in uh, for at least overnight, ideally 24 hours. Again, this is the product I'm using, Howard's Butcher Block Conditioner. It is food grade mineral oil with natural waxes, totally food safe. Just look how beautiful this piece is. If you watch my channel, you'll know that I'm thrilled to be speaking at this year's Boss Reseller Remix. It's October 16th through 19th here in Las Vegas. If you're a reseller at any level, tickets are still available. This will be my third year, so please join us. It's an incredible experience. If you can't make it in person, be sure to grab your virtual ticket. Get $10 off with my code THRIFTLV. Bear, what's the ball? You got the ball, Ray. <laughs> Bear. Bear. Are you a good boy? Does Rio have the fourth one? You have three over there. You ready, Bear? Come on. We just came home from walking the dogs and both cats are out on the port on the balcony here. His bandit. And there's Ziggy. Ziggy!